Martin, nice to have you here. Thank you. Uh, we just talked about you arrived here in Lenzerheide when? Some minutes ago? Yeah, half an hour ago. So you yeah. came uh, from Freiburg, yeah. so Freiburg yes. the yeah. place and city which yeah. you live yeah. in. Okay. Uh, for everybody who just joins us for the first time, we say sorry for the maybe um, not so good internet connection and picture quality, but as you know, we record this thing, this video also <laughs> for the YouTube version and as you see this live chat is very popular so everybody wants to be in here but now it's just you, Martin and me for the next 60 minutes and the rules are quite easy. You can ask Martin whatever you want, just write your questions and send it to me and I will then ask Martin whatever you would know. So Martin, another reason why we meet today is that you end your career, you ended your career just I think six or seven weeks ago in the end of, of January uh, after many many years being in the World Cup how do you feel right now? Yeah, I'm feeling very good uh, I had a, a very good time in, uh, in the ski, ski jumping World Cup mm -hmm. uh, it was nice to be so many years on, on that level and yeah, I had uh, one last big goal to um, maybe to win an Olympic medal um, to the end of the career or to end the career with an Olympic medal and I couldn't reach that last goal and so after the Four Hill tournament I um, knew that I would make it to the Olympics and then I um, thought it was um, the right time to say goodbye and so now I'm uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to my new life. Mm -hmm. Because the first question we just received from Tina, who is just w watching us at the moment. So Tina, greetings from Lenza Heide, from Martin Hello, Tina. and me. She wants to know, um, Martin, was it some kind of spontaneous idea so uh, that just came up to end your career? Or was it, was it a, a plan or uh, yeah, a thought that you had in your mind also for a longer time? Um, yeah, I knew that it would be my last season and so I, I, I thought um, about ending my career last year and then I said to me, okay, um, one, time, one more time to the Olympics, maybe um, uh, win another medal at the Olympics would be great and uh, so I tried to do everything I Mm -hmm. I could to reach that goal, but um, yeah, unfortunately I couldn't make it and uh, didn't reach my top level in time and so um, after the body tournament um, uh, it was obvious that I wouldn't make it to the Olympics and then I said okay, um, now it's the right time to end my career, but I mm -hmm. knew it before. Okay. So. Yeah, so I guess uh, watching the Olympics wasn't really easy. I, I remember. No, no, no. How was it for you? Oh, it was it was nice. There were um, great competitions, yeah. and um, um, I think the was, Germans won yeah, the, the team won event. The team or? Competition. Yeah. They were Sigrid Freund was a bit unlucky on the um, with the fall on the mm -hmm. normal hill, so he would also have to serve the, a medal in the individual competition because he's in a really good shape at the moment and. Also now the World Cup is um, at the moment the best uh, ski jump in the world, and so but they um, won the gold medal, and it's good for the um, for German ski jumping. So uh, you, you you didn't feel uh, jealous, so you enjoyed watching the Olympics. Yes, yes, yeah. Did, yeah. Also the other disciplines, also um, alpine skiing and everything. I watched yeah. pretty much. <laughs> So maybe we can tell about other disciplines uh, as we are now enjoying the, the final of the Alpine World Cup yeah. here in Lenzerheide. Today uh, the Super G event. Um, I, I was driving the car so I couldn't watch it. Okay, <laughs> okay. I, I have to think about the Germans. No, I don't think we have to think about them because <laughs> no, no German was on the podium I think. Uh, yesterday Maria. Uh, crashed. You you know yeah, that, I, that story. I, you heard that. I, yeah, I I I saw it on, on, okay. on television, and uh, that's. Uh, I hope she, uh, she's getting well soon. Uh, yeah. So she won the downhill world cup, and she had 
and I'm such a great season with an Olympic gold and the chance to win the overall World Cup as well. And yeah. so she was very unlucky yesterday, but I hope and keep my fingers crossed um, that she um, is getting well soon and that we are seeing her next year too. One word uh, to Maria, there is a live chat planned tomorrow. Uh, if Maria says yes, we will be happy, we appreciate that. Our management is uh, just getting it. Now I get the information, it's okay, thumbs up. So you will see Maria tomorrow, uh, I guess also from her hometown in Kitzbühel. So uh, as we talk about her, that sounds that she is not that hurt uh, and that she's in a good shape so uh, yeah we are looking forward to the live chat tomorrow with Maria it will start at 2 p.m. Um, yes one one question to your hobbies because of uh, we talked about alpine skiing yeah. uh, I guess and I know you are able to uh, to yeah. ski and not just to jump yeah. so uh, how, how, how often are you on the on the slopes out there uh, I wasn't this year, so <laughs> um, I should go, but um, I, uh, also here I have no time, uh, and so maybe next week I, I will find the time to, uh, for a few alpine days. Um, but, so, um, so it's a hobby during, for, it's, for you? It's a hobby, but um, during my ski jumping career, it is, it's, um, our season starts in, in November and ends at the end of March. And, when maybe there are some some days in at the end of March or in April where mm -hmm. uh, you can uh, go alpine skiing. So during the season it's uh, very difficult because you are a bit scared that you uh, may get injured or um, it's and also you should uh, in a few days uh, you should also take a rest and recover from the previous World Cup competition and uh, prepare for the next one. And so it's not uh, there's not so much time to go alpine skiing because uh, if I go alpine skiing uh, I I want to go fast and <laughs> really hard yeah. so the, that the legs are burning and so that's not uh, the good preparation during the season and so yeah. I but I so in the last couple of years I was three or four times a year alpine skiing okay I really like it and I think in the next years I will um, have more, more days on that skis. I'm looking forward to uh, speak also with you today about your future, about your yeah. future plans. We will do that afterwards because um, there is one question also concerning the last weeks. Nika wants to know, she writes in German, uh, Martin, wie ist es für dich nach so langer Zeit mit dem Skispringen aufzuhören? Kannst du auch gerne auf ja, Deutsch antworten and I will translate it afterwards. Ja, gut. Also, nee, mir geht es eigentlich ganz, äh, ganz gut dabei. Also, ich äh, hatte eine, eine lange Zeit, eine schöne Zeit im, äh, im Skispringen und so sehe ich es einfach. Also, ich habe es wirklich äh, bis zum letzten Moment ausgereizt und äh, natürlich ändert sich jetzt das, äh, das Leben einfach. Der Tagesablauf ist ein bisschen anders, aber im Moment äh, genieße ich es noch. Also, ich äh, mache schon noch. Uh, auch viel Sport, aber uh, natürlich nur uh, in dem Trainingsrhythmus wie, uh, wie bisher. Aber insgesamt komme ich ganz gut klar. Ich hatte in den ersten Wochen, nachdem ich aufgehört habe, hatte ich doch das ziemlich große Verlangen, noch Ski zu springen und auf, auf die Schanze zu gehen. Aber dann waren die Bedingungen so schlecht, dass ich uh, dann uh, wirklich seit gar nicht immer gesprungen bin. Und jetzt so die letzten, seit so drei, vier Wochen, ist auch reizt mich jetzt im Moment auch nicht mehr so. Vielleicht ähm, werde ich im Sommer mal nochmal die Sprungski anziehen und einfach für mich ein paar Sprünge machen. Oder, ähm, aber ja, das lasse ich auf mich zukommen. Aber insgesamt geht es mir gut damit. So, uh, for everybody who doesn't uh, speak German and understands German, just the most important words from uh, the statement of Martin was he's feeling well after the ending of his career and also the way back on the ski jumping hill. Maybe in summer he will go just for fun up on the hill and uh, do some jumps but I think and you also see it he is very very well and uh, yeah Nika thanks for that question Julian Augenreich schreibt uns and he wants to know how was your time as a ski jumper how is the feeling uh, when somebody when you is flying oh you have to try it <laughs> Yeah, he writes, I, I wanted to be a ski jumper yeah. and um, 
Yeah, how 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 is it if you uh, should describe it? Uh, it's difficult to this describe uh, to somebody uh, who hasn't experienced it. Um, it's it's a great feeling, um, um, especially if, uh, if you're in a good shape and everything works. Um, it's um, yeah, it's just a um, great feeling to. Um, Take the speed from the in run into the flight, and um, to yeah, you you feel the air, you feel the pressure from the skis, and you have you always have um, control over, over over everything. And then if you have a pretty mm -hmm. long flight, it's just a great feeling. Mm -hmm. um, we have one topic uh, which fits into the question from Julia. I guess mm, many young people are watching us at the moment. And there is one project ahead, I heard just uh, some minutes ago, there is the plan of a so-called uh, Schüler Cup, Martin Milka Schüler Cup in uh, Germany, I think. Can you tell us about um, yeah, this, this, this project, what is it all about? Yeah, there's a um, Milka Schüler Cup and uh, it is um, a competition series of the German Ski Association and um, the best and most talented athletes of uh, of Germany, um, the age from 12 to 14 or 15 are mm -hmm. competing there, and yeah, we try to um, support these kids and um, show them what to do, what what it takes to become a world class ski jumper. And so it's also the possibility to to learn it. If uh, no, not to learn it. Um, so they should have really, uh, an experience already. It's already um, very ambitious. Okay. Age. Yes. Um, you have um, I started with six, with yeah. jumping, and uh, uh, you should start before ten. Yeah, that's um, my advice. Yeah, <laughs> but um, uh, yeah, you can also start with eleven, but then it will yeah. take a few years to um, um, to compete on a certain level. And um, these kids um, in the Schüler Cup, they are mm -hmm. very good. They are also they are, they are jumping on hills. 70 meters and 60, 70 meter hills, mm -hmm. and so they, it's um, pretty much ski jumping, and it um, is looking great, and it's um, fun to watch them. And mm -hmm. um, we also um, we are also planning a, a training camp where I can, yeah, I. I can mm -hmm. coach them a bit and show them. I heard one week of training uh, with you and also maybe other coaches. Yeah. And I heard uh, that you are, besides that, also studying and learning for your trainer tip to coach diploma. Yeah, I'm in Cologne at the Coaches Academy and mm -hmm. making my diploma there. And yeah, I also want to become a coach and um, yeah, maybe I'm in a few years I'll be back in the World Cup. <laughs> Okay, maybe. <laughs> so there's we'll see, but already a, a question. Yeah, yeah a qu also already a question about your your future. Um, the next question from Luisa. She wants to know what was your favorite achievement or maybe uh, your biggest one. Um, it, it's difficult. I had a few, and um, I'm, for me the most important competitions, of course, are uh, the first um, World Cup victory in Lillehammer. Mm -hmm. was very important for me, the first world championship, um, but I think the most impressive, co impressive victory or achievement was the um, first overall World Cup um, and maybe the uh, Olympic gold with, uh, in the team competition in Salt Lake City because it was so close, it was uh, 0 0.1 point and uh, it was a very, um, yeah, Impressive competition. Mm -hmm. So, as you um, as you heard already, many highlights in this career. Not just uh, winning the Olympic uh, gold medal, uh, four times World Championships. I think uh, twenty three World Cup victories. Twenty eight. Twenty eight. Twenty eight. Yes. Okay. Um, so, and of course, the ski jumping record. I think it was in. Uh, mm. In, in, in Planitza? Yeah, 1999. I yeah, 214.5. Yeah. 
I, so I, I jumped in the in the, in the first uh, competition round. I jumped 219, but I yeah. couldn't. It was a bit stupid. I, I I I crashed in the outrun, but it wasn't necessary to <laughs> to fall. <laughs> and then uh, I just crashed. Mm. I missed the, uh, the the world record, and so but in the next jump I jumped uh, 214 meters and had uh, the world record just for one day. The next day, Tommy Ingrid Brixen mm -hmm. uh, jumped, I think, 219, and then he had the world record. But it's good uh, um, to be in, in the list. Yeah, uh, I guess it's a very special feeling, yeah. even it's if just for one day, yeah. if you are the one who has jumped as far as nobody, nobody before. before yes. uh, um, so, yeah. maybe some words about that, that feeling? It, it's a it's a great feeling, um, and that's um, especially the first competition round was like this. Um, I, I think the world record was um, 209 meters. It's nothing that compared to today. Yeah. Today it's over 240, but uh, <laughs> that in 1999 was a bit different. And 209 was the world record, and I knew that, and I saw the last line, and I knew Ooh, that's far. Um, far over the line and so uh, 2019 was and I was so happy over uh, I, I knew oh now I have the world record and then I was um, <laughs> one day cheering, after that I cheering too early yeah. and then I I, I, I crashed in, in the outfit oh, okay. yeah. so but uh, it was anyway it was a good feeling to be um, um, yeah to jump um, a distance that nobody did before. Mm -hmm. Carmen is writing us greetings from Switzerland. Carmen, nice that you're watching us at the moment. And she wants to know, Martin, what do you do in your free time? My free time? Maybe, first of all, you ended your career six weeks ago, so is it everything and every time free time now for you? Everything, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I really enjoy it. Yeah. No, I've uh, also, like I said before, I'm um, studying at the uh, Coaches Academy in mm. Cologne and I have um, to do, uh, also uh, have to do something for, for this, um, for sure, uh, but yeah, in my free time I, um, I like to do sports. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm, Which kind um, of sport? Alpine uh, skiing, if yeah, there if is I'm, the time? Yeah, yeah. but um, um, cross country skiing, running, um, I'm in summer mountain biking and Last weekend I um, had a few hours on, on the racing bike and so it's, yeah. I saw a picture on your homepage, you playing golf? Yes, also golf in summer, time to time, but I'm not a very, very good golfer. So every, everybody else out there wants to know, hey Martin, what's your handicap? <laughs> oh, it's, I don't know. Nothing to talk about. <laughs> nothing to talk about, no, I'm, I'm not proud of, uh, <laughs> yeah. of it and it's, I think, 34, but I'm, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's <That's> embarrassing. <laughs> um, I have one question to the uh, to the to the guys here. Do we have some cards? Yes, because the next one, Martin, um, Lara. Lara. Can I get an autograph, please? Yeah, sure. Nice greetings, Lara. Of course, you can, Lara. Yeah. Uh, do we have a fitting Benzo? Maybe we try with that. Or do you have one I with have you? One. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to imagine Martin has a big, big Milka bag with him. And there are many pens inside. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Here is the one for you. So, Lara, first autograph. Of course, uh, you can. Write us if you also want to have an autograph from Martin. Um, in the meanwhile, while you are writing the autograph and preparing one story, so okay, we keep it here and the Milka team will send it to you. Lara, oh, viele Grüße aus Lenzerheide. Also for you if you want. Um, I think it was uh, the, the German magazine Bunte yeah. who wrote some, some sentences about you. He was the pop star of okay. the ski jumping in the late I'm, 90s. I'm not a good singer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but I think it is their story. They, 
they they meant was um, that your uh, how should I say uh, many fans are girls and women yeah. and uh, I remember uh, in, the, in the late 90s and uh, in your successful years there were many posters of yeah. you hanging in the in the in the in the rooms um, did you felt like a like a pop star no I, I've always felt normal <laughs> I uh, did my my sport as good as I can and um, and it's, it, was, it was nice to uh, compete in that, in that time and where ski jumping was so, so popular and um, um, you have full stadiums, uh, um, yeah, mm -hmm. amazing home crowd in Oberstdorf or Garmisch-Partenkirchen or, Garmisch or Willingen and so it's, it was yeah, nice to, um, to be able to compete in, in this period. Mm -hmm. Natalie is watching us and wants to know um, do you plan to write an autobiography like Sven Hallewald did? No, I, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, simple <laughs> question, <laughs> simple answer. Yeah. I'm well, really sorry, well, maybe, maybe uh, I think um, maybe in 10 or 20 years I have the age for, uh, for a book, but not now. <laughs> okay. Um, Markus is writing us. He says, Hi Martin. Um, two years ago I started to ski jump. What are your special hints to become professional one day? Uh, always uh, enjoy what you're doing and have fun with the sport and try to get better and better and then I keep my fingers crossed that you will make it to the World Cup. Okay, Alexandra um, wants to know or is writing. Hallo Martin, vielen Dank, dass du dir in Willingen so viel Zeit für deine Fans genommen hast. Ähm, das war, glaube ich, was sie meint, äh, als du deine Karriere beendet hast. Mhm. Da gab es danach noch, noch viele Feste. So, uh, we are talking about uh, the Willingen, the place where Martin decided to say, okay, it's, it's over now. Uh, Alexandra says, thank you for the time in Willingen with you and she wants to know what's the biggest difference now so if you look back the last six seven weeks after you said okay I'm, I'm leaving what's the biggest change no yes in the, in the time if uh, in your life the biggest change is that I don't have to control my weight so <laughs> <laughs> so no problem so far. No problem so far, <laughs> but uh, it's a bit easier than before. Yeah. Yeah. And and you're enjoying it. Yes, not I'm to it. Yeah. not to <laughs> look at your weight. Okay. So that leads me to another question. What is your favorite food besides chocolates? Besides chocolate. Yeah. Because on your homepage you write uh, you can't decide which milk uh, is the best one. Yeah. One time it's that one. So wh which one are you enjoying these days? Uh, it's it's different. Um, it's it's also yeah. this one. You know it? Yes, I know it. And it's, it's the uh, carnival edition. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, we, it, we can it open it. I mean, you yeah. you ha 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 don't have to control your weight now. So please enjoy it. <laughs> um, so besides chocolates, uh, just just enjoy. Mm -hmm. I will look for the. Next question. So, are there any any styles of food which uh, you weren't able to eat in your career and which you're enjoying now? No, I um, um, I, I think my nutrition was very healthy during my um, uh, sporting career, but mm -hmm. um, I I also will. Um, go on very similar. I mm -hmm. think I won't change um, that mu much in mm -hmm. um, my eating behavior. And so, so uh, pizza, <laughs> like before. <laughs> yes. No, <laughs> just uh, just sometimes, uh, perhaps um, one time a month. Yeah. Uh, a pizza, but um, and the other days, uh, what what's your favorite? Um, I really like salad. Mm -hmm. All all kinds of salads. Yeah. Yeah. And. Um, 
Frauen zusammen. Ja, ja. Ein, ein gut. Ähm, Steak. Ähm, ja, ein, ein Pasta. Ein ja, okay. Pasta. Elisabeth, um, wants to know who was the best friend in the team. Hm. Hm. Is there one, one, one special guy, one special person? Hm. You would say, okay, that's him. Um, it's um, it's also a bit um, in in which period I I had so many <laughs> uh, so, okay. so many years in, in the World Cup and um, um, let's say the, the first it, in, in, in your the, in the first um, part of my like career yeah. it was um, um, it was uh, I was very close to um, Guido Thoma and he was it was it was more The, the old brother, okay, yeah, because he's yeah. uh, 10 years older than me, and so it was more the old brother. But um, um, it was I, I learned very much from him, and uh, he showed me what's important in the World Cup. And uh, yeah, he was my idol, and uh, and showed me many things. And so, but we um, had a good time together mm -hmm. uh, in the World Cup, and then. Um, yeah, things changed, and yes, now it, you uh, are the old. old yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, very old. Of, uh, and the last uh, years, I was um, often together with uh, Maximilian Mechler. He, uh, mm -hmm. We also trained together at home in Freiburg, and so we uh, spent a lot of time together. Okay. Um, Steven wants to know what is your favorite ski resort? Favorite ski resort? That's difficult. Uh, since I haven't feeling and training and experience so many no <laughs> I get any possibilities no, to no. snow skiing. You have okay. to to walk up the hills. <laughs> okay. But uh, I built in 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 our um the garden in, or in our garden I, yeah. I built a little hill as, really? a, as, a, as a child, yeah, and I yeah. always jump with cross country skis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I have uh, for sure I had no lift, I have always to walk up. Yeah. But it was Much fun, but I um, um, skiing resorts. I um, Alberg is a nice resort. Also, um, Courchevel in mm -hmm. France and uh, in Whistler Mountain. Um, it's mm -hmm. a good place to go. Okay. But here in the Alps, I think you can go everywhere. Yeah. Um, who was your role model? Who was your idol? Was it Dieter Thomas? Thomas yes. wants to know that. Um, yes, Dieter was. Um, I think he was the one. As a as a child, I, um, um, I really as a child, I, um, it was maybe Martin Nikanen in the in the first years. Um, but um, then, um, when I uh, with fifteen, sixteen, seventeen years, it was Dieter Thoma, and I learned very much from him. Mm -hmm. If you could live anywhere in the world, so where would it be? That's the question from Benjamin. Uh, at the moment, I'm very satisfied. Freiburg is a nice, nice town. You have, um, you have uh, nice weather um, for Germany. Um, good temperatures, and it's pretty warm in the in the summer. And you have a nice spring, and you have a nice autumn, and uh, and the Black Forest is very close and. Mm -hmm. So you also um, can go to ski. As I said before, I went a few hours on, on the racing bike last um, last weekend, and a day later I uh, took my cross country skis and uh, went for cross country skiing. And I really am enjoying to do that both summer mm -hmm. and winter sports. Wann wird die nächste Gelegenheit sein, bei dich uh, dich bei einem Event live zu erleben? Wir vermissen dich sehr. Oh je. Großes Ausrufezeichen. Oh, je. oh ja, ich weiß noch nicht, wann ich das nächste Mal um, irgendwo auftauchen werde. Also, If you are very fast, we are sitting in Lenze Heide at yeah. the moment. Morgen. Just for maybe. 30 minutes yeah. more. Um, the next time maybe um, your fans can get in touch with you is Maybe you have to tell me. Um, of course, the Schüler Cup we already mentioned, but I heard that there is some that there are some charity projects which which you are supporting. Uh, maybe you can tell us about about these things. Yeah, the um, 
Fein. In Deutschland. Ja, nee, ich äh, unterstütze äh, äh, bei mir in meinem Heimatort eine äh, Nachtsorgeklinik für Krebs- und Mukoviszidose kranke Kinder. Und ähm, die unterstütze ich schon viele Jahre. Dann engagiere ich mich noch äh, für die Stiftung Sehnsucht. Ähm, die machen Suchtprävention für Kinder und Jugendliche. Und da gibt es immer wieder Projekte. Aber jetzt im Moment ist auch hier noch nichts äh, datiert. Also, wo ich äh, jetzt irgendwo bei einer direkt bei einer Veranstaltung bin. Also ich kann jetzt leider noch keine Termine bekannt geben, ähm, aber wenn es soweit ist, wird die jeweilige Organisation ähm, mit Sicherheit äh, das auch ankündigen und, ähm, und das ist einfach im Auge behalten. Mhm. Und ähm, wir werden mich früher oder später, also ich werde im Sport schon in irgendeiner Form erhalten bleiben und ich denke, man wird mich auch ab und zu ähm, an der Sprungschanze wieder sehen. Ich war ja letzte Woche, habe ich mal mit den, ähm, mit den Jungs in, äh, also aus dem B-Kader mal ein kleines Training in Hinterzarten an der Schanze gemacht. Also äh, es kann auch sein, dass ich einfach mal an der Schanze bin mit den Jungs. Einfach aus einer anderen, äh, aus einer anderen Perspektive, mm -hmm. nicht mehr selber trainiere, aber mit den Jungs trainiere. So, talking about uh, Martins charity engagement, there, is, uh, there are two special projects um, concerning cancer and uh, the rehabilitation after. Having, uh, having cancer, uh, all informations also, and I guess um, to your future, uh, let's say, projects um, are written on your homepage. Yep. That's still online. Yeah. <laughs> so I have to update that. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe for, for all your fans out there who don't know uh, the address, Martin? Yeah, Martin. Minus? Uh, Schmidt.de Schmidt. De or com. Okay, so all the best to uh, this Martin Schmidt fan. She or he doesn't tell us uh, her name, but I guess she or he is a big, big fan. Lisa wants to know, did you like to travel around during the season? Yes, I really did. Um, um, that was part of my my life and uh, I really enjoyed it. Um, mm -hmm. the, a few things um, always to live out of your, your bag and also at home to um, to do the washing and everything that's yeah. uh, that was isn't, isn't so not so nice but to be um, on the road and uh, travel from one um, place to another is, is very nice and I always liked it. it was but do you think this is a thing which you will miss in the future? Uh, no, I, I also like to, to be at home. I'm, uh, I, I can cope with both situations and uh, I also like to be at home, but um, it's also nice to be, um, to be on, <coughs> on all places all over mm -hmm. the world. And, uh, and so the only thing in few um, have so many years in the, in the World Cup, in the, the places are always the, the same, same places. <laughs> and so, so you would like to a uh, have uh, an, an event in uh, Hawaii or Lenzai? <laughs> okay, yeah. You know. Okay, um, what do you think about women's ski jumping? Manuela wants to know. Ah, it's um, the girls are uh, really doing good. They are. I think the sports has improved a lot over the last couple of years and it will, um, I think I, it will go on like this and uh, I think in four years it will be on a even much higher level than, than today and it's very good and we have uh, um, gold medal winner Karina Fo, con mm -hmm. congratulations Karina mm -hmm. um, and it's great for the um, Women ski jumping sport in Germany, and so I hope there are many girls who will follow her, and um, that we have a strong team in Pyeongchang. Mm -hmm. um, very interesting. Of course, you you can enjoy your your chocolate, and also please take take some water while we are enjoying uh, the sun going down here in Lenze Heide. Um, also, there is another live chat today uh, with Tina Maase, which, uh, which will start at uh, one hour after our <laughs> hours. Is, it will be at the end, so at 
5.30, yes, 5.30 we will be here with uh, Tina Maase and uh, now we have uh, some more minutes left with Martin. Um, very interesting question from Cordula. Since the start of your career, how did you, th how do you think did the ski jumping circus changed? I mean, you've been in the work for 15, 16, 17 yeah. years, a really long, long time. So, what are the biggest changes you think? Um, uh, mm, it's difficult. I think the, the sports changed a bit. The, um, the influence from the material is, is bigger. The suits uh, became very important. And over the last years, uh, yeah, now in the last um, um, three or four years, four years since um, 2010, the Olympics with um, Simon Amann, um, with his new binding system, um, also <coughs> the, the binding and the jumping shoes uh, changed a lot, and everybody's working um, on, on this products uh, to, to get an advantage and um, the material is, um, has a big influence on, on, the, on your performance nowadays, um, more than I would say 10 or 15 years ago. And the, the sport in, in general or the competition is um, getting more, um, the TV broadcasting and everything, the media world became more professional and more Mm -hmm. um, for me, as an outstanding person, interested person into ski jumping, um, there is one thing in these last years and maybe also before which hasn't changed. I think that the secret of being in shape, if you ask a, yeah. uh, a successful ski jumper why is it working, he says always, I don't know, it works and that's good. Yeah. Um, can you describe that that secret to be successful in in ski jumping? Um, the secret of being successful is being successful. <laughs> <laughs> so, so if you are being successful, you know um, uh, you the secret you, to get you, you, you must have the feeling to, yeah. be, um, to be to um, be strong and you know um, you, have, you must have a lot of confidence and uh, trust in your in your jump and so you must stand on the top and say, okay, I know what I have to do and I, and I can do it and everything is, um, is working and the, um, the material fits to your jump and so everything is, is balanced. And then that gives you the feeling that um, um, when you're standing on the top, so, mm -hmm. okay, I know I'm better than the others, but you have to... Um, you cannot say just say it. You have to um, you have to feel it, and you have to experience this um, with with many jumps. For example, um, I, I think Severin Freund had um, since Willing he had a, a very good shape. He was on the very top level, and that time maybe Kamis Doch was a, just a, a little bit better. But I, I think they were equal, and um, what Kamel makes has uh, mm -hmm. has no uh, what has Kamil made better was uh, during the Olympics was just the the confidence and he um, had a double victory in Willing and he knew um, I'm I'm at the moment the best ski jumper and uh, with this feeling he started in Sochi and won another two competitions and uh, he has now two gold medals and um, Severin um, had a very mm -hmm. similar shape, but um, he um, was a bit unlucky on the Noble Hill, and the large hill um, he missed all the medal. And uh, uh, anyway, he jumped very good, but um, then he made um, the, the gold medal with the team, and, um, and then he got this feeling: okay, I'm I'm one of the best, and mm -hmm. I'm. And with this feeling, he uh, went on to the next World Cups and won the first competition, the second competition, and uh, has, um, I think, three or four competitions in the last World Cup. Um, uh, three or four victories in the last mm -hmm. World Cup competitions, and so he's now the, uh, and with a few weeks earlier in 
on this level he would have made maybe an, uh, the Olympic gold in uh, individual mm -hmm. competition. But yeah, it's difficult. <laughs> Martin, uh, do you know Maya? Maya? No. May I introduce? Maya is just watching at the moment. Hi, Maya. Maya. This is Martin. <laughs> nice to meet Martin, you. This is Maya. <laughs> Uh, Maya writes us, yeah. uh, wrote us some minutes ago. I just wanted to say hi. Yeah. So, hi Maya. Yeah. I was cheering for you from the beginning and I would love Thank you. your autograph. Best luck from Slovenia. Okay. So that's for you Maya. Yeah. That's the front, everybody looks at that. but. More interesting. You, you, you yeah, right. Okay. I, I, have a, I have a look at your. That's a pop star picture, Martin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <it's laughs> yes. yeah. That's a real yeah. great pop star picture. Big sunglasses. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> when was it? A few years ago. <laughs> Okay, so uh, I, I think... Have changed that much? Um, no, just the sunglasses are missing. Yeah, okay. <laughs> the rest... I can take that. Stay the same. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Maya will enjoy the front and the back, of course. Do we have sunglasses here? Dear Milkatin, yes, we have. So maybe we can, uh, we can check if Martin has changed. So I think you have to leave the cap, mm -hmm. of course. Yeah, okay, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. the look is really the same, <laughs> yes! <laughs> okay. That's perfect, really, how should I say, um, cool, mm -hmm. really tough, cool, and uh, where is Mayas? Okay, yeah. okay, so every girl who is watching us now will write, please sign on the back of your card, okay. Thanks, thanks for that. Um, ah, I yeah, was I'm, waiting. I'm not in Planet this year. It's sad, but. It's a maybe. big year. Yeah, it's a big year. Because Maya is from, from Slovenia. Yeah, but I, yeah, I hope to be there um, soon. Um, maybe next year. Yeah. As a coach. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Yes. Um, also, concerning autographs, you can write us on Facebook if you want uh, an autograph from. From Martin, he will do that, of course, afterwards, and then the Milka team will send it to you. Um, yes, let's talk about the future. Where do you see yourself in, let's say, five years? Oh, um, we will see. I'm not making um, that much plans for the for the future. Um, uh, first of all, I'm. Um, I am concentrated on my study at the Coaches Academy and, and we will see what, mm -hmm. what happens in the future. At the moment I, um, I enjoy to have a bit more time and to do th things that I couldn't do all the years. Um, besides eating. Teach, I mean, eating. <laughs> <And> <laughs> no, I, I could also eat as a yeah. teacher, but uh, the life is a bit different and um, also in sports you um, uh, it's very um, you have to do your training and uh, you have after your training you have to do your recovery work and um, you have really um, should do that much sports beside um, mm -hmm. your main training yeah. and so I really like to just to go uh, in the morning to go running a bit or um, to go um, cross country skiing or um, to take uh, your bike or mountain biking a few hours and. Um, don't think about your legs and that's, mm -hmm. I enjoy this. The reason why I was asking uh, where do you see yourself in five years yeah, okay. is because I think in five years you are at the same age as Noyaki Kasai. Okay. You will be yeah, he, 41 and the next question from Eddie. Yeah, he, uh, Nori told me I should come back. Yeah. Yes, and also Janne Ahon said uh, to me, oh, okay, may, maybe you need just uh, one year break and then uh, you can go back in the World Cup. <laughs> so but I I don't have this plans. Okay, okay, so at the moment you you say okay, no come back to the World Cup as a ski jumper, maybe as a trainer, but yeah, at the moment no, I don't think that I um, 
come back. Mm -hmm. yes. What? Uh, because Edit uh, wants it's to know. Yeah. I, I, I I did it so many years, and it's uh, also it was uh, the last couple of years were um, also very exhausting, and it's, um, I had to put in a huge effort to keep up with the young guys, and uh, so I knew it would be very tough to come back and to come back on on this high level, and so I think it's for me it's not. Not mm -hmm. possible. Maybe I, I, I think about different next year, but at the moment I cannot imagine mm -hmm. it. Because Edit um, asks, what do you think about Noriaki? Yeah, he's amazing. Uh, Noriaki is, um, yeah, it's it's great, and he is in such a good shape. And now I heard he had some problems with his knee the last few weeks, and but if. Um, um, if that's um, no problem anymore, he is also a favorite for the Ski Flying World Championships in Harakov this weekend. Mm -hmm. and I think um, there was one Ski Flying in Bad Mitteldorf this year and um, I, liked, I liked his flights and, I, and also as he jumped during the Olympics, um, this kind of jump and this kind of technique is perfect for Ski Flying. and it, he is, um, his body is in a good shape and if his, he has no pain with his knee, he will be the man. Maybe with seven in front, um, they will fight for the gold medal, I think, and that's with 41, uh, that's just amazing. And mm -hmm. I think uh, Noyaki won the Ski Flying World Championships in 1992, and now, uh, <laughs> 22 yeah. years, years later, later, he can make it a uh, second time, that yeah, yeah. would be great. I talked to Andreas Goldberger in, in Sochi about yeah, that. He's also. very, very jealous about yeah, yeah, Noriaki yeah, yeah, because yeah. he lost in 1992, I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. against him. Oh, yeah, and but Andy had a very um, bad crash in 1992 in Harkov. Yeah. So, I think he... <laughs> oh, yeah. Susanna asks, um, what is your favorite city and or country? Is it Germany? Oh, <laughs> yes, but um, there are so um, so many nice places on the world, and I have so many places Any yet special to discover. Place, and, oh, yeah, yeah, and so you will, you will see. Uh, ask me next year. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's your favorite milk chocolate? Mac wants to we know. We had this before. I'm, <laughs> I hard to I decide. Like this more and more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm. Uh, at the moment, I eat more um, um, with hazelnut, mm -hmm. and but um, this is also great. Choco jelly or hazelnut. Margot aus München, uh, from Germany, Munich, wants to know, do you like Tatorts? Yes. A famous TV series. Yeah. I watched the last Till Schweiger Tatort. Really? Yes. I think it was the, the last. The last in With the most dead bodies. Yeah. 19. 19. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Everybody knows that. Yeah. Okay. I haven't counted it, before, yeah. but it was everywhere in the yeah. newspaper. Also, before you knew. Yeah. Okay. And you, can, you could count um, during the, the movie and. <laughs> Everybody um, was yeah. counting. Okay, one, two, three. <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah. Ten left. <laughs> Uh, any any other um, movie or TV series you, you like to to watch? No, I'm um, I um, I like to um, to watch movies, but um, not that much. And mostly I, I watch sports on television. Okay. Uh, now the question from Marie Martin: Do you have a girlfriend? Yes, I do, and I'm very happy. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, just imagine Martin, your girlfriend. Uh, she didn't tell you, but she's watching at the moment. My girlfriend. Yes. So you can greet her if you want. I think she has to work. <laughs> okay, that was a little. That was a little lie. But I, I wanted, I wanted to see how, how would you say hello? <laughs> yeah. Just imagine she would. She is out there now. Uh, <laughs> we make that in private. <laughs> okay, 
So we maybe we will record it and then send it just to to her. Just to her. Okay. Eduard wants to know where did you grow up, Martin? Was it the, the countryside or in a city? No, uh, uh, a small village. Um, um, yeah, I think we had a bit over a thousand um, people mm -hmm. there, and it, it was very nice. We had um, much space around our our house, and um, yeah, and. Um, a very nice childhood. Mm -hmm. yeah. A lot of sports. I mean, yeah. um, Lara wants to know, Martin, what do you think about Tina Maase? Do you know her? By yes. Uh, so, uh, I'm not, not just as an uh, athlete, so you really um, also talk to her? Yeah, we have. Um, I met her last summer at the Mika Shoko Fest in, in Prudence, and it's always very nice with her. And um, so, um, yeah, she's such a good skier, and um, um, I was happy for her um, that she had so good Olympic games. Mm -hmm. Maybe also you too, Tina, and you have been in. in uh yeah, same kind of situations. I mean, uh, your career was like a roller coaster, a little bit uh, hard years, very success successful years. Um, maybe a little bit the same with her last year. This record season now at the beginning of the season very tough, and now at the Olympics yeah. she's she's back again. Yeah. Um, what's your description of the the hard years? Did you find for you self a reason why there were some years? Well, you haven't been so successful. It's, it's difficult. You always try to do best and you always give your best. And so um, sometimes you have just to accept that um, others did better. And I think, yeah, she had some problems at the beginning of the season, but um, she improved during the season and was in a perfect shape um, during the Olympics. And so everything is fine, I would say. Um. Next question from Kata. Who is your favorite woman in alpine skiing? And who is the best? Your opinion. <laughs> <laughs> Which discipline? <laughs> um, no, no special discipline. Ooh, that's, that's... So maybe, maybe let's make it a little bit easier. Yeah, your favorite woman in alpine, alpine skier? Uh, I'm... I, I I think in, in, in slalom it's it's easy with Michaela Schiffrin, <laughs> uh, but uh, in the I um, um, I always uh, cheer for the uh, for the Mika girls because I I, I know them and we have um, some um, for example um, I know Michaela Kirchgasser very good we have also Maria and. Uh, and Tina and um, and I always cheer for them. Mm -hmm. um, also, you are invited to watch our uh, last video live chats this this year. Uh, we have one still coming up in one hour with Tina Massa, and tomorrow we will do the live chat with uh, Maria Höferisch starting at 2 p.m. And um, just watching at the clock, we just have four minutes left for your last questions. So let's make it quick. Darius wants to know what's your favorite music. Um, uh, Any band or uh, style of music which you adore? It's a bit uh, also a bit different, and uh, but um, I like rock music most. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's a uh, white. <laughs> oh. Many things, yes. Many things, yes. So, any special uh, band or group? You Not that one special group. Okay. Um, Dita Brecili, I hope I pronounce your name right. Uh, she writes so many questions to ask, uh, so many questions to ask, but the most important what is a perfect day for you and um, with who? Uh, Perfect day is um, to get up not too early <laughs> in, what, in the morning, but yeah, too early. Maybe 
I think a nine is a good time. Nine. Yeah. yeah. That's not too early, but not too late, too so late. you can <laughs> do something with your day. Mm -hmm. And then to, uh, um, of course, a uh, um, long breakfast with my girlfriend and then some kind of sports so that you are um, exhausted at the end of the day and can relax mm -hmm. a bit, have a nice dinner and a nice evening, maybe a glass of wine and of course a uh, liquor bar. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay, um, we talked about um, things that change now for you. We talked about eating, about the perfect day. Uh, we talked about doing other sports. Um, I think also uh, we talked about favorite countries and, and you were telling us that you are looking forward, that you can do some things which weren't able before, uh, weren't possible before. Um, so Lisa has one question, what is your favorite country to make holiday? Uh, I'm, I'm looking for a place to go in, in spring, but uh, um, I'm, I'm not, not sure. Not uh, yet and, decided. Uh, I, I want to, to see a bit more. I have uh, been in the United States, I have been last year, it was very nice at the Seychelles. Mm -hmm. um, I, um, yeah, but um, there are so many. Um, other places I haven't been to Australia or to New Zealand and I want to make this someday and or, uh, Thailand I haven't been there and or, um, Africa in general uh, or South Africa so there are so many places to go and um, I have Brazil I haven't been to Brazil and so I have um, to do a lot of holidays <laughs> to to can, uh, to be able to answer this uh, to this question, maybe we sit here um, next year again, and you can tell us about yeah. your your holidays. Yeah. Would be a pleasure. Um, yeah, that was it. The live chat with uh, famous and popular and very nice and sympathetic Martin Schmidt. Um, just to notice, in one hour we will start our live live chat with uh, Tina Maas and maybe it will be some kind of love chat, <laughs> we will see. I would love if you are join, uh, um, joining us in one hour, then we will start uh, to talk to Tina Maas and just prepare your questions at the moment for the Milka live love chat with Tina Maas. For now, I say, Martin, um, thank you so much for being with us, all the best for the future. I think not just from our Milka team, also from the fans out there which are watching and uh, hope to see to see you again soon yeah. anywhere thank yeah. you thank you and bye 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 bye